about what's hot now. Oh, my God. All right, Ultimate Fighting Star Ronda, and I always get her name wrong, Rousey. Rousey. Rousey is used to making headlines, but a story in her autobiography is leading people to ask, is there a double standard when it comes to domestic violence? On the one hand, news broke this week, the baseball player, Colorado Rocky star, Jose Reyes, allegedly assaulted his wife, and immediately people were calling for him to be banned from baseball for up to 81 games, like half the season. Meanwhile, in her book, she writes about beating up her ex-boyfriend, after discovering that he'd taken nude photos of her. Among other things, she says, I punched him in the face with a straight right, then a left hook. I slapped him with my right hand, grabbed him by the neck. And nobody seems to, you know, bat an eyelash about that. Yeah. Is there uh, is a there a total double standard, standard here? Right. Complete double standard. And she was actually bragging about it in her book. It's not like she was saying, oh, I was so sorry. I had anger issues at that time. She still stands by it saying, yeah, I did this. I, I kicked his butt. Well, and like, that's a double standard right there. I think her and then remember the incident with Hope Solo. I right. mean, nothing happened to her. She was accused for, you know, two relatives. Well, she is going to trial, right? She's going to so, trial, yeah. but nothing happened to her on the U.S. soccer right. team. Well, I mean, it's, it's sort of like when you're a darling and a woman, I think they sort of look the other way. But we teach our kids, girls can't hit, boys can't hit. I mean, what's... Why is it okay for a girl to hit and it's not okay for a boy to hit? I don't think that it's okay. okay. No, I'm just I, saying that with no action, they're not I doing think anything. What happens, it just shows that kind of example. I think what normally happens is when we look at women and versus men, you think when a man hits a woman, he's going to be so much more powerful than her and it's really going to hurt her. And you look at a woman hitting a man oh, like, oh, powerful. Yeah. no, that her. girl is yeah. powerful. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't want her hit me at all. Oh, but then she, me. what if somebody makes this argument? Look, he, he did something despicable. He took these nude photos of her behind her back. The violence has never... I'm, the I'm answer. Just, yeah. I agree, but I'm just saying maybe yeah. somebody was going to argue that, that that in that case it's okay because she was somehow provoked. It's yeah. never it's, but that's okay. what that's then saying that's that the, the woman does saying. something that she provoked me. Right. And you so then we, if, we, if we don't allow yeah. that to happen, we can't allow this to happen. But I you think have actually to be the real. UFC needs to do something. The MMA mixed martial arts needs to you know, reprimand her in some way. I've had a situation where somebody did something that I didn't like that was a boyfriend. Uh, yeah. What'd you do? Well, I took his phone and I chucked it out the window. But not at him. Not at him. Yeah. I want to be trying to to throw it at him, right. Yeah. But the window was closed. Right. <laughs> but there should be a... Yeah. Well, there should be a no a no tolerance, you know, at all in any of the major sports. To, you know, right. And, you know, football. I think they've. Um, I think Ray they've Rice. done a Ray wrong just job enacted with that. This joint domestic violence policy back in August. So this is their opportunity as Major League Baseball mm -hmm. to set a very important precedent for all and of professional will, sports. And I hope that they do. Yeah, but I, you know, there's a the there's a quote in one of these articles, and I can't find it now to, to quote it exactly. But it's from some organization that deals with domestic violence. And uh, these are the people you think would say there is a double standard. They said, no, we'd need to find out more about what happened in her uh -huh. case. Wait. Which I thought was interesting. Well, how much more do you need yeah, when a guy a classic does it? example of pictures. Remember how we said the other day, like, pictures sort of validate it with a Hardy and Rice. We don't believe the victim. That's another thing, just because we don't see it. But I wonder if it was a it? man, if that organization would have taken no, the same position. That's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. When, when people point. see women and a, when a man is being aggressive to a woman, instantly you go, oh, my God, she's not going to be able to protect herself. And the other way, you go, he can tolerate a couple of hits. But I... Oh. Don't, let's keep it real. People think yeah. that. If I see a woman hitting a man, I'm like, oh, child, please. She, what's she gonna do, slap you around a little bit? That's the mentality. That, you know, that's what people are saying like yes. that. But I think what they should say is also, these people are in very aggressive sports. Maybe they need some type of decompression time after they get out of a game because they probably never have a downtime from getting well, into sports. Why? glorify Be people beating up each other in the yeah. sports like, like she participates in. In boxing, boxing. Exactly. it's a huge billion dollar industry. So we like to see people, apparently as a culture, we like to see people hit each other a lot. It's like the Coliseum okay. and the games, you know, like the sport of blood. It's, it's yeah. sad, I, I, can't, I can't watch it. I don't and that's know that's why I it should be up to the league to make sure that they keep all these athletes in check. That's what they're there for. Yeah. And there should be no tolerance whatsoever. Think she would, if she made abuse. awareness, if she wrote this book and did something about it and called to action, kind of floating about it. Yeah. There was no contrition. All right, let's move on. The Hollywood Reporter is also in the news after announcing that they will no longer publish their annual Women in Entertainment Power 100 list, where they rank the women. They say that they want to unite women at this point rather than pit them against each other as if they're in some sort of female cage fight. They've been making this for 23 years, and now the editor, who is a woman, has said, enough's enough. What do you think of the decision? 
I like the, I, you know, to be honest, I, I asked you if you had ever been on a list this morning, and you had, and I said, for Most me... Most wanted, yeah. <laughs> no. no, I was on Forbes list. Forbes yeah. list, it's, and to me, looking at these lists, it's for a, a woman, it's aspirational. I read their stories, I'm inspired by them. I like these lists. I don't understand the pitting against, maybe they, they have infighting on who's on the list, who jockeys to get on the That's list. That's the thing, I think the issue is that it ranks them by numbers. numbers. I think she's saying, hey, we can have a list that still celebrates all With of no your numbers. success, yeah. and and all of our accomplishments as women, but let's do it as a collective group. Well, now they're doing and men not, and women yes. together. But when I was on the list, because I'm sure people in the audience are going, why was she on the list for Forbes? <laughs> I, I know the way you think. Oh. Um, I happen to be a co-anchor of the, the Today Show at that point, and th that was the only reason I was on the list, which to me is seems a little but that's ridiculous. That's a great thing, though. Yeah, but, it, but only because of my position. I never really did anything except have that job. It wasn't like I was out there really influencing but people. Everything but everything you did to yeah. get to that job, Meredith, is important. Mm -hmm. And you I had to be good, good, and you had to be good. I had to be good. I had to be good. But I'll claim you a compliment, but, but if everything I did to get to that place was important, then I'd be on the list every year. I was off the list so fast yeah. when oh, I left the Today Show. That's did. interesting. Yes. Because I, I no longer had that audience, yeah. I suppose. But I also think these lists are great for encouraging women out there, too. They see, wow, I can get to that level. But I, I do understand taking the numbers away. That, yeah, what that if you had a list here in, in well, order? Well, Who do you like best? Uh, you wouldn't want that. Well, well, yeah. you know, the reality is I'm on Craigslist all the time, OK? <laughs> 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 And I'm looking at you when I say it. Are you a big flirter? Mm. Ooh, oh, yes, yes, yes I, I am. Your eyes are always batting around. <laughs> Elizabeth <laughs> Hurley, Elizabeth Hurley, beautiful Elizabeth Hurley, the actress, said that she is, but she told Seth Meyers that it is a dangerous game because flirting has sent her to the ER at least two times. Once she tried to do this kind of elaborate jump into a hammock and she went over the hammock and I think she got knocked out. Another time she was running thinking she looked so sexy and her foot went in a rabbit hole. She broke her ankle. Oh. So that's what happens when How she flirts. Flirting? But what, no, what, she thought she running, 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 oh, running, running is sexy like, Sexy you know, on the beach in a bikini. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like bouncing around. Yeah. Like Ten, Bo Derek. Yeah. Are you flirters? I'm, I'm, I'm I think I, I'm a flirt. I mean, yeah, I you like are, flirting. You're but there's but there's this you know fine line. There's there's flirting where it's kind of like a little weird, and then there's a charming. What's flirting. the where's the line How for you? How do you draw the yeah. distinction between? Well, the two? when you feel icky that someone is hitting on you, flirting that's that is beyond the line. But if someone's being cute and flirty and it's innocent, that's just charming. So if you think they're adorable, then, you're, then they're cute. But <laughs> yeah. if you don't find them whatever attractive, then they're not cute. I guess. That's true. The same it's a, it's a, yeah. it's a yeah, yeah, with that, it. of yeah, how, how you receive you someone. I mean, I flirt all the time, just, and I love touching people, and I love this, yeah. this, this yeah. smells. Yeah, I and touch her too. Yeah. What about? Oh, that's so but good. Not strangers. No, anybody that's she around. Does. I like, just, she's a nuzzler. Like I, in I the love, nuzzle. I love to in feel people, but the problem is sometimes I do that. No, don't move for me, darling. <laughs> uh, the problem is sometimes I do that with a guy, and then I realize that I'm out of the moment, and he's still in it, and I'm like, oh. Thing. We're still doing this. We're still here. <laughs> Get away from the worst thing is just like to. Have you ever flirted with somebody and then you realize they are not into you at all? Yeah. That's yes. a, how do you get out of that flirt? It's sort just, it's, awkward. it's so awkward. You push the ejector seat and you get out as fast as you can because it's so <laughs> embarrassing. All right, okay. <laughs> Moving on, a waitress in Ohio has also run into trouble for her alleged flirting. In a viral Facebook post, she shared her experiences with the newlywed couple that she recently served. They came in. She thought they had a good rapport with them, so that she did, but then the wife left her no tip and she left this note on the receipt. He's my husband, find your own, good luck. The waitress went ballistic on Facebook, just saying, you know, you are so insecure, lady, that I was not looking at your husband. If you had it, you would have noticed I have a wedding wing, too. What do you guys make of the story, There's though? a little bit more to the story, I feel like. I, what was, where's the husband? Why isn't he not? Yeah, why didn't he I feel settle. like maybe he, like, gave in to it, and maybe there's a little jealousy. Why don't we ask well, the he, wife? Why didn't he put a tip down? Yeah, why didn't he? Well, he first of all, because, because, he, he, has because a, he didn't want to get right, in trouble. If he, he has, has a wife like that woman, right? If he has a wife like that, certainly he's going to get in trouble with her, but I think it Listen, ladies, confidence is so sexy to a man. Being insecure like that when another woman is around, if you're around another beautiful woman, don't feel insecure because it looks crazy to a guy to be like, oh, that's how you feel about yourself? Be like, yes, you're a beautiful yeah. woman. Come join us. I, us. I love it. I love it. Yes. But the, 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 do you, I'm going to call you out because when you're with a guy, 
when you're with a guy, do you want some other woman to come up and flirt with him? I'm just gonna keep it real. I got some girlfriends. They like, oh, everybody want my man. Everybody want my. And I look at them like, a oh, girl, don't nobody want your man, girl. <laughs> it's like, you know, some women think everybody want their man, and they really don't. I love a little flirtation. Listen, if he's mine and I'm secure about my relationship, girl, flirt with him all you want. So I ain't gotta do that work later. <laughs> with my husband, but I do think you're right. I think sometimes it crosses, it can cross the line. Mm -hmm. And then that's not okay. I would never do that to somebody else's husband, so I don't want it done well, to mine. Well, in this, in this case, you know, it's all hearsay, but if you were to believe this waitress, it all started out very funny and jokey. Right. They, you know, my name is what, Jessica or something yeah, like yeah. that. Oh, like, we yeah. don't like that name. We like Jess. So they were already kind of hitting her back with yeah, jokes. I mean, so right. I don't understand how this led to her not giving And she was working. How much flirting could she have done without serving other tables? Yes. I mean, that's, that's kind of crazy. crazy. I, I've, I've, I've seen waitresses get very flirty. A little bit. Not just with guys, but I've had waitresses be, like, overly friendly to me yeah. just because, like, yeah. the friendlier they are. And you get biscuits are. out of it? Yeah. Water. All right, now. I love that. All right. All right. Flirt with me. Texas mother. Mom in Texas upset with her daughter's cheerleading squad after they forbade the girl from participating with the team unless she straightened her curly hair, and the mother thought that was ridiculous. Okay, here's the other side. The officials at the Woodlands Elite Cheer Center defend their decision. They say that there are, there are strict uniform codes when they have competitions that affect how a team is scored. They found a hairstylist would show her how to straighten her hair without d damaging it at all, and they felt the mother just was really belligerent and did not want to compromise at all, and they just said, okay, forget about it. I think this sets a dangerous, slippery kind of like message or precedent. I mean, first it's hair, yeah. then it's weight, then it's uh, freckles, then it's color of skin. It can but, go but, down. But, but, but it can go down a path. You can keep your hair the way you want it, except in competition, because we all have to say have the same hairstyle. Now, but I, that's I, what I'm saying. Like, what if you weigh a little bit more? Well, I'm sure and you're there's not a, looking well, like everyone is sort of step sure weight, a weight, but weight, step but weight isn't a part of the uniform. And when you're in a cheerleading competition, Yes, yes, absolutely. Hair, makeup, accessories, uniform, shoes, socks, and bloomers. You were a cheerleader. I was a cheerleader. Yeah. That's why I know that. And you get awarded points based on uniformity as a squad. Mm -hmm. So weight isn't part of the uniform. That would never be a thing. The hair thing that bothers me is I had short hair in high school, and it was never an issue for me to compete. What if I have really short hair, and I can't pull it back in a ponytail? Well, it wasn't an issue for you then. They didn't have the ponytail rule? Back then, they didn't have the uh, same ponytail yeah. rules. But I thought, when I saw this story, I thought, what about girls with short hair? It's, not, it's just not nice. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's, mm -hmm. that's like, like, it just but, picks one thing. But it's a yeah. competition. Yeah. I mean, it it's a competition. a competition, and I mean, when I was in high school, we had a show called show choir called Attaché, and the girls could not cut their hair; it had to be exact same length. And it's just oh. part of the uniform. And if you want to be in a competition, you have to adhere yeah, to these rules. She could also find another cheerleading team to I mean, cheer on as well. That's yeah, the another. When you talk the, the hair length thing to me is is, is kind of crazy because I was also a cheerleader. <laughs> Well, I had a big backside, and nobody else had a big backside. Okay. And there was an issue about my skirt, but they added paneling to the back because it would rise in the back, and you could see the heavens, the moons, the stars. <laughs> and they put a panel. They, they were, but my cheerleading squad, they were very accommodating to like they knew I had my afro and stuff like that. I didn't have to yeah. fit in with the accessories right. of the other girls. Because they let me be me. Yeah, because you guys competed in one type of. Right. Comp There's so many different types mm -hmm. of competitions right. for cheerleading. But I do squads. believe with this mother, with the, the point that I like is that they all offered her alternatives or how to help her daughter right. get. Yeah. Sometimes mothers are just like, no, I want my child to stand out. And I think that might have been the case in this particular situation.